Hello and welcome to Learn Together. Today we're gonna continue learning uh, D3.js and uh, <clears throat> after we saw in the previous videos uh, two types of uh, scale, uh, linear and time um, and they are both uh, continuous um, scale uh, we are gonna see today uh, three different uh, scales uh, which are the ordinal the sequential and the quantities and um, let's start with the ordinal scale ordinal can contain uh, free texts and uh, stuff like that so let's let's take um, an example if you remember um, at the beginning we had a different um, a different uh, page that we've um, worked with instead of uh, area I'm gonna switch back to shapes uh, let's save that let's see okay those shapes so in here uh, I'm gonna try to work with with a chart uh, bar um, we have one two three four five six seven uh, columns uh, bars like that and I would like to give them uh, names uh, let's say, uh, uh, for example, uh, we can we can give them uh, fruit names, for example. So let's go back to our uh, page, and I'm taking now uh, shapes. <coughs> In here, I'm gonna need a new array data data fruit. And I'm gonna give them an array, oops, sorry, ordinal array with seven different labels, which gonna represent our fruit names. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, okay. So um, let's say uh, orange, orange, <coughs> Sorry, apple, uh, grape, grape, banana, um, let's say, um, I don't know, kiwi. Uh, melon and I know it's a peach peach okay now we have seven different uh, fruits uh, they will be our ordinal fruits and now uh, we need to create the X scale for that so let's create it in here. Let's say var x equals d3 dot scale null. And in here, I'm going to say domain and range. So the domain in our case obviously will be the data fruit and it will take the the labels in here without any um, connection to their values we just take it as it is and um, the range will be um, the range will be also an array of the coordinates um, that we're going to use it's not related to the uh, data array or anything with with any values it's just the coordinates and um, there are uh, easiest easiest uh, easier sorry ways to do that uh, but we can try to do that um, like that we can go uh, and do it like that zero 60 it, it's not gonna be 
uh, the great way, the greatest way, and I'm gonna obviously change that. But I'm gonna show you how it's supposed to be done um, in a second. Uh, 300, 360, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And last one will be um, like that. And now we're going to create the X axis. Um, so X axis like that, D3, and then axis um, <coughs> bottom. And I'm going to give it the X that we've created in here. And now let's append it to our um, SVG after the rectangle in here. We can do SVG dot append and <coughs> sorry um, G like that and in here a TTR class with um, X and axes classes and of course to call our x axis um, like that and save that. Let's go back to our page. I'm going to refresh it and we've got our values at the top. And since um, it's not the uh, the best place you want to put your scale let's try to uh, work with that first of all i'm gonna i want to try to uh, move the scale at the bottom of our chart and we know how to do that so let's go back in here and say attr transform and translate. I don't want to play with the x value, I want to play with the, with, the, with the y value and I know that my y starts at 350 so I'm gonna set 350 in here. Let's save that, refresh. Okay so now it's in at the right place. Um, I mean from y uh, value perspective and now of course my axes are something went uh, crazy in here so let's check it out and um, okay so first of all um, my jumps are not uh, the smartest jumps um, we see that any each uh, each column in our chart uh, jumps with, uh, with the pace of uh, 80 pixels so let's first of all change that to be uh, the right um, steps in here 400 and of course 480 um, it's not it's not the right uh, thing to do but i want to try to uh, make it one step at a time and we know that each uh, column width is basically uh, 70 uh, pixels. Um, I can take a look at the DOM and understand that. You see the width is 70 in here. So I want to place it exactly in the middle. Uh, so the right thing to do is to translate it to be at 35. Let's see only the first one. So that's the right uh, place. And the steps will be the same every 80 uh, pixels st starting from uh, 35. So it's 115, one, sorry, 95, in here 275, 355, 435, and like that. Let's check it out. Sorry. Fresh. 
boom okay wonderful so that's the right place and they're sitting exactly where i want them to be i'm gonna uh, try to play with that a bit more and i want to add a class i'm gonna call it uh, hidden and let's go and define it and I can say in here, let's say uh, g dot hidden, and let's play with uh, line and g hidden uh, with um, graph. No, I'm sorry, path. Sorry, and I'm gonna say. And of course, since I want them to be hidden, I'm going to play with the display and set it to be none like that. Let's take a look. No, they're still in here. Um, let's check it again. Oh, I didn't save. I didn't save my shapes in here. So now let's refresh it. Okay, wonderful. So now it, it appears exactly like I want it to be. It's pretty nice. I can use the hidden uh, class also for different uh, purposes in the future. After playing with the ordinal um, scale, I want to demonstrate uh, the other two um, scales. So we have the scale point and the scale bands. So let's take a look how we can use them. So let's start with um, scale point. So instead of scale ordinal in here, I'm using uh, point and domain will stay the same, but the difference will be at the range. Um, so the range it takes only the maximum, the minimum and the maximum values. So let's say uh, zero and uh, maybe 550 like that. <coughs> and let's take a look at our page. <coughs> Sorry. You can see that it goes to the minimum and the maximum. And it could be that in some cases it will be exactly what you will need. You can also play with that to be at the minimum and, and maximum values that we've set um, before the calculated ones and see that now it sits uh, better and you can also use uh, the the third uh, scale which is bands in scale bands um, let's go back in scale bands first of all i'm gonna change that to be uh, bands like that <clears throat> but it in scale bands I can take it back to be zero and the maximum to be um, let's take a look in here it should be uh, 480 plus 70 so it will be exactly 550, uh, 550 uh, like that <clears throat> and he knows uh, that this is the, the range and he knows also that we have seven different values um, and the only thing that it, he miss in here is the the padding inner the spaces between between one and, and the other uh, so if if we'll take a look for example our um, uh, first um, column starts at zero the width is 70 so it means that it ends in 70 and the next value starts in 80 the next column starts in 80 so the inner um, space between them is 10 pixels okay and if we have seven seven uh, values uh, seven columns we have one two three four five six <coughs> sorry six um, inner spaces inner padding um, each one is 10 pixels, so the total will be uh, six, 60 uh, pixels. Now, only the only thing we need is <clears throat> to calculate the, the percentage 
of the total uh, size of this chart. So if we said 50 and we have the, the 60 uh, pixels, sorry, um, uh, we're doing it like that. Sorry, we're doing it like that. So it's 10.9% of our chart let's go back in here and the only thing that we need is to add the padding inner like that and as we calculated it it should be 10.9 so 10 like that maybe uh, we can leave it. Well, I mean, I can I can take the entire number and put it in here. It will be okay. But I guess that's enough. Um, let's check it out. No, nope, something went wrong. Um, let's see. Obviously, let's go. Man. Okay, now it looks better, and uh, that's exactly what we've uh, tried to achieve. Yep. That's it for today. Uh, thanks for joining me, and don't forget to subscribe our channel to get updates when new videos uploaded. If you have any questions, you can send them to me by comments, and I'll try to uh, answer as quick as I can. Thanks again, and. Uh, See you in the next uh, video. Bye-bye.